in light of the situation, especially the COVID-19 situation in Bangkok, we have been reporting that there, the medical doctor have suggested a one-week lockdown for Bangkok to control the situation. However, the general Natapon Nakpanit, who heads the Center for COVID-19 Situation Administration subcommittee, said that the Thai government has not yet decided to go forward with a proposal, which was made by a prominent doctor, like we just said, for a one-week lockdown of Bangkok in light of the COVID-19 situation where the number of cases are increasing. They cited the reason to be the concerns over the economic impact of the measure. General Natapon said that the bubble and steel approach will remain in use but with stricter measures with details to be discussed at a meeting today while the lockdown proposal will remain under consideration. Yesterday, Associate Professor Dr. Niti Patsi Rukun, Chief of the Respiratory Disease and Tuberculosis Division of the Faculty of Medicine at Sirirat Hospital, posted on Facebook that a lockdown of Bangkok is the best answer to the current situation, which he called desperate. Regarding the current hospital bed shortage in the capital, General Natapon said that the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration, or the BMA, is coordinating with the Public Health Ministry to transfer patients with mild symptoms or those who are asymptomatic to hospitals, which still have a lot of vacant beds. Beds and field hospitals in Bangkok will be enhanced to accommodate patients with moderate to severe symptoms, he said while asking private hospitals to help out due to the limited resources of the Bangkok authorities. And now let's have a look at the COVID-19 figures for today. Thailand reported 4,108 new cases as well as 31 more deaths today, raising the cumulative total since April to 203,784. And this is the first day that the total infections since the latest outbreak started has exceeded the 200,000 mark. At the same time, yeah. 1,578 patients have recovered from the disease.